Welcome to Space News from the Electric Universe, brought to you by the Thunderbolts Project at thunderbolts.info. It is a fact known to any high school student. Electric currents produce magnetic fields. Incredibly, this law of physics is virtually nowhere evident in the so-called standard model of the universe. It is therefore no surprise that many so-called baffling discoveries in the space sciences have involved the detection of magnetic fields at virtually all scales throughout the universe. A Universe Today article from 2011 describes the conundrum for astronomers. It states, The mention of cosmic scale magnetic fields is still likely to be met with an uncomfortable silence in some astronomical circles, and after a bit of foot shuffling and throat clearing, the discussion will be moved on to safer topics. But look, they're out there. They probably do play a role in galaxy evolution, if not galaxy formation, and are certainly a feature of the interstellar medium and the intergalactic medium. In recent years, one of the great mysteries in astrophysics was the detection of astonishingly powerful magnetic fields in so-called young galaxies. A 2008 report on such a discovery reads, Astronomers have made the first direct measurements of the magnetic field in a young, distant galaxy, and the result is a big surprise. Looking at a faraway proto-galaxy seen as it was 6.5 billion years ago, the scientists measured a magnetic field at least 10 times stronger than that of our own Milky Way. They had expected just the opposite. But what is the cause of these magnetic fields? The answer to this question which we revealed in the opening statement of this report, remains elusive for astrophysicists. Today, increasingly fine data across the entire electromagnetic spectrum only deepens the astronomical mysteries. Recently, scientists in Germany using the Hubble Space Telescope have detected extremely strong magnetic fields in a quasar, which is believed to be about 4 billion light years from Earth. The magnetic fields were measured at 200 million Gauss. In comparison, the strength of the magnetic field at Earth's surface is only about one Gauss. The scientists state that the magnetic fields are very close to the quasar's theoretical central black hole, and they suggest that the magnetic fields play a role in expelling matter from the black hole's accretion disk. However, how confident should astrophysicists be in their ideas about magnetic fields in space, or their belief in the existence of black holes? Scientists from the University of Göttingen in Germany have detected for the first time the existence of very strong magnetic fields of 200 million Gauss immediately next to a supermassive black hole in a quasar 4 billion light years distant. As a comparison, the magnetic fields on Earth are measured in the range of 1 Gauss. The report states that the existence of such magnetic fields could explain why so much of the matter which happens to enter into the surrounding field of a black hole still manages to escape. Now, years ago, I was at a meeting of professionals where a leading astrophysicist admitted, when we don't understand something, we blame it on magnetism. But what that leading astrophysicist didn't say is that astrophysicists don't understand how the magnetic fields are generated. If you have a look at Scholopedia on the web, and it says, and I quote, the origin of the first magnetic fields in the universe is still a mystery. And it goes on. It calls for a mechanism to sustain and organize the magnetic field. Of course, mysterious dynamos are called upon to provide these magnetic fields. You'll notice in astrophysics that these dynamos are invoked inside the Earth, inside the Sun, and now inside galaxies, but no one knows how they work. They've never been shown theoretically to work, so they remain mysterious. Meanwhile, plasma cosmologists have shown both theoretically and experimentally that the magnetic fields in galaxies are due to electric currents flowing into the centres along the spiral arms of the galaxy. Now, when the current reaches the centre of the galaxy, it is twisted into a plasmoid where all of the electromagnetic energy is stored until that plasmoid becomes unstable and ejects matter in jets along the galaxy axis, as observed. Now, all of this was published and is easy to read in Eric Lerner's book, The Big Bang Never Happened. In plasma physics, the plasmoid is the most concentrated form of electromagnetic energy known. You can store the energy of a room full of capacitors in something a few millimetres across, a tiny donut-shaped plasmoid. That plasmoid, of course, to contain that energy, has an intense magnetic field. It's self-generated just by the electric currents and the way they 
twist themselves together. So this discovery confirms the plasma cosmology model. This means, of course, that black holes are a mathematical fiction. Now, at our Electric Universe conferences in the past year or two, Steve Crothers has shown that the mathematics of black holes is nonsense. But the most significant argument against them is that the mathematics invokes a universe where there is no other matter. It exists on its own. There can be no other matter in its universe. If you want to have a simple explanation, you could look at his paper called Black Holes, Unicorns and All That Jazz. At the heart of all of this is the problem that physicists themselves don't understand magnetism, gravity or mass. So this talk about what's going on in the centres of galaxies is complete nonsense. I'll be talking about all of these subjects, and particularly the long road to understanding gravity, at my presentation at the Electric Universe conference this year in Phoenix in June. There's a great deal of evidence against black holes from other observations that have been made in recent years. One is the idea that these massive gravitational concentrations called black holes will cause gravitational lensing. Now, the stars orbiting the so-called supermassive black hole at the centre of the Milky Way have been observed over a number of years and they orbit this so-called black hole at high speeds and their orbits have been tracked. But in no case has there been any evidence of gravitational lensing of those stars. Another thing that was observed recently and was tracked was a cloud of gas and dust which was approaching the centre of the Milky Way, the so-called black hole, and it was expected to be gobbled up by that black hole. But that didn't happen, and that was a surprise. The point is, it's not a black hole, and therefore the forces in action there are not purely gravitational, as this research has just shown. Like the theoretical wormhole celebrated in the recent blockbuster film Interstellar, black holes are a beloved staple of science fiction. And popular science media routinely present the theoretical black hole as science fact. How might the general public form independent opinions on such a complex and arcane subject? The public is at a disadvantage with science reporting these days because it's done by press release. And the original papers which present the data are usually interpreted in such a way as to make these assertions and assumptions real objects. We have artists' impressions of black holes. We have artists' impressions of all kinds of things in space, none of which are images of something that has been actually observed. As Einstein once said, but didn't actually follow, the ideas are the most important thing, not the mathematics. And yet the ideas are often not well organised logically or well expressed so that the public can be misled, but not only the public, the scientists themselves mislead themselves. The electric universe, on the other hand, follows the tradition of classical physics, where there is a freewheeling exchange of ideas, and those ideas are organised into a coherent big picture, something which makes sense of a widely disparate set of information from different disciplines. The electric universe has not been surprised by any of these surprises for astronomers and astrophysicists, simply because it starts from a much bigger picture. It accepts empirical evidence from plasma cosmologists, which astronomers unfortunately ignore. And the result is that we have been able to predict things in advance and to accommodate new information and actually find confirmation in new information week by week as it comes in. For continuous updates on space news from the Electric Universe, stay tuned to thunderbolts.info.